This is day 19 of our September scripture challenge. Today we're going to look at Genesis 36 through 37. As always, our reflection questions to consider while you hear the text is what is a word or phrase that stands out to you? What is one question this text sparks for you? And what is God speaking through this text today? You are welcome to leave your reflections in the comments. Here's our reading. These are the descendants of Esau, that is Edom. Esau took his wives from the Canaanites. Ada, daughter of Elan the Hittite. Oholibamah, daughter of Ana, son of Zebion the Hivite. And Basemath, Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nebaioth. Ada bore Eliphaz to Esau. Basemath bore Reuel, and Oholibama bore Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. These are the sons of Esau, who were born to him in the land of Canaan. Then Esau took his wives, his sons, his daughters, and all the members of his household, his cattle, and all his livestock, and all the property he had acquired in the land of Canaan. And... He moved to a land some distance from his brother Jacob, for their possessions were too great for them to live together. The land where they were living could not support them because of their livestock. So Esau settled in the hill country of Seir. Esau is Edom. These are the descendants of Esau, ancestor of the Edomites, in the hill country of Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons. Eliphaz, son of Ada, wife of Esau. Reuel, the son of Esau's wife, Besamath. The sons of Eliphaz were Taman, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, and Kenaz. Timnah was the concubine of Eliphaz, Esau's son. She bore Amalek and Eliphaz. These were the sons of Ada, Esau's wives. These were the sons of Reuel, Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These were the sons of Esau's wife, Besamath. These were the sons of Esau's wife, Oholibama, daughter of Anna, son of Zebion. She bore Esau. Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. These are the clans of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn of Esau, the clans of Taman, Omar, Zepho, Kenaz, Korah, Gadam, and Amalek. These are the clans of Eliphaz in the land of Edom. They are the sons of Ada. These are the sons of Esau's son, Reuel, the clans of Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These are the clans of Reuel in the land of Edom. They are the sons of Esau's wife, Basemath. These are the sons of Esau's wife, Oholibama, the clans of Jeush, Jalam, and Kor. These are the clans of Esau's wife, Oholibama the daughter of Anna. These are the sons of Esau, that is Edom, and these are their clans. These are the sons of Seir, the Horite, and the inhabitants of the land, Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Anna, Dishon, Ezer, Dishon. These are the clans of the Horites, the sons of Seir in the land of Edom. The sons of Lotan were Hori and Haman, and Lotan's sister was Timna. These are the sons of Shobal, Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. These are the sons of Zibion, Aya, and Anna. He is the Anna who found the springs in the wilderness as he pastured the donkeys of his father, Zibion. These are the children of Anna, Dishon and Ahobiamath, daughter of Anna. These are the sons of Dishon, 
Hemdan, Eshban, it, Itron, and Cheron. These are the sons of Azer, Bilhan, Zavon, and Akan. These are the sons of Dishon, Uz, and Aran. These are the clans of the Horites, the clans of Lotan, Shobal, Zibion, Anna, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishon. These are the clans of the Horites, clan by clan in the land of Seir. These are the kings who reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the Israelites. Bela, son of Beor, reigned in Edom, the name of his city being Din Haba. Bela died, and Job, Jobab, son of Zerah, of Borz, Bozrah, succeeded him as king. Jobab died, and Husham of the land of the Timonites succeeded him as king. Husham died, and Hadad, son of Bedad, who defeated Midian in the country of Moab, succeeded him as king, and the name of his city being Avith. Hadad died, and Samla of Mas Masreka succeeded him as king. Samla died, and Shaul of Rehoboth of the Euphrates succeeded him as king. Shaul died, and Baal Hanan, son of Akbar, Akbor, succeeded him as king. Baal Hanan, son of Akbor, died, and Hadar succeeded him as king, the name of his city being Pau. His wife's name was Mehe Tabel, the daughter of Mat Matred, daughter of Mezahab. These are the names of the clans of Esau, according to their families and their localities by their names. The clans of Timnah, Alva, Jetheth, Oholibatma, Ela, Pinon, Kenaz, Taman, Nibzar, Magdiel, and Iram. These are the clans of Edom, that is Esau, the father of Edom, according to their settlements in the land that they held. Jacob settled in the land where his father had lived as an alien, the land of Canaan. This is the story of the family of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was shepherding the flock with his brothers. He was a helper to the sons of Bilhah and Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought a bad report to, of them to their father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a long robe with sleeves. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Once Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. He said to them, listen to this dream that I dreamed. There we were, binding sheaves in the fields. Suddenly, my sheaf rose and stood upright. Then your sheaves gathered around it and bowed down to my sheaf. His brothers said to him, Are you indeed to reign over us? Are you indeed to have dominion over us? So they hated him even more because his dreams and his words. He had another dream and told it to his brothers saying, Look, I had another dream. The sun, the moon, and eleven stars were bowing down to me. But when he told it to his father and to his brothers, his father rebuked him and said to him, What kind of dream is this that you have had? Shall we indeed come, I and your mother and your brothers, and bow down to the ground before you? So his brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. 
Now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock near Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, Are not your brothers pasturing the flock in Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. He answered, Here I am. So he said to him, Go now, see if it is well with your brothers and with the flock, and bring word back to me. So he sent him from the valley of Hebron. He came to Shechem, and a man found him wandering in the fields, and the man asked him, What are you seeking? I am seeking my brothers, he said. Tell me, please, where they are pasturing the flock. The man said, They have gone away, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them in Dothan. They saw him from a distance, and before he came near to them, they conspired to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes this dreamer. Come now, let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits. Then we shall say that the wild animal devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. But when Reuben heard it, he delivered him out of their hand, saying, Let us not take his life. Reuben said to them, Shed no blood, throw him into this pit here in the wilderness, but lay no hand on him, that he might rescue him out of their hand and restore him to his father. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe, the long robe with sleeves that he wore, and they said to him, and they took him and threw him into a pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. Then they sat down to eat, and looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead with their camels carrying gum, balm, and resin on their way to carry it down to Egypt. Then Judah said to his brothers, what profit is there if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and not lay our hands on him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers agreed. When some Midianite traders passed by, they drew Joseph up, lifting him out of the pit, and sold him to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. When Reuben returned to the pit and saw that Joseph was not in the pit, he tore his clothes. He returned to his brothers and said, The boy is gone, and I, where can I turn? Then they took Joseph's robe, slaughtered a goat, and dipped the robe in blood. They had the long robe with sleeves taken to their father, and they said, This we have found. See now whether it is your son's robe or not. He recognized it and said, It is my son's robe. A wild animal has devoured him. Joseph is without a doubt torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his garments and put sackcloth on his loins and mourned for his son for many days. All his sons and all his daughters sought to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted, saying, No. I shall go down to Sheol to my son mourning. Thus his father bewailed him. Meanwhile, the Midianites had sold him in Egypt to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard. Our questions for reflection are what is a word or phrase that stands out to you? What is one question this text sparks for you? And what is God speaking through this text today? We hope you'll share a few of your thoughts in the comments.